best areas to live in Las Vegas. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damien, Angela's sidekick. And today we're gonna to be talking about all the different areas and best areas to live in Las Vegas. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you are thinking about buying a home here in Las Vegas, you can always reach out to me at 702-370-5112. Or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. So let's get started, right? Um, you know, Las Vegas has a lot of different neighborhoods, right? We have a lot of different master plan communities. But in essence, though, it's also split into different sections. It's not just all of Las Vegas. You know, parts of Las Vegas is unincorporated Las Vegas, or unincorporated Clark County. So not everywhere is Las Vegas. So there's different neighborhoods or different areas that people tend to gravitate towards, not just say a master plan community, but the actual area. And in that area, there may be several different master plan communities. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So whether you're looking for a family environment, a bustling urban lifestyle, or a quiet suburban retreat, Las Vegas has something to offer everyone. In this video, we'll explore some of the best areas to live in Las Vegas, each with its unique charm and appeal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first area is what? Well, naturally it would be Summerlin. Summerlin. Right. Often regarded as one of the best places to live in Las Vegas, Summerlin offers a master plan community with excellent schools, parks, golf courses, and a variety of housing options. So everyone, even though Summerlin's on the west side of the valley, they don't say the west side, they say Summerlin. Right? They do. And within Summerlin, there's about 24 to 25 different villages. And Summerlin has been around for over 30 years and has another 20 plus years to go. So it's ever growing and ever changing, right? There's more room to grow. Yes. Number two is Henderson. Henderson, yeah. right? So everyone's always comparing Summerlin and Henderson. So the other area that a lot of people like to gravitate towards is Henderson. Henderson is adjacent to Las Vegas and is known for its family-friendly neighborhoods, low crime rates, and well-maintained parks. It consistently ranks among the safest cities in the U.S. That's something that people really look forward to is you know low crime rate and things. And I see a lot of younger families there as well. And number three on our list is Northwest Las Vegas. This area is known for its affordability and proximity to outdoor attractions like Mount Charleston. It's a good option for those who want to be near the city, but enjoy a quieter atmosphere. Yeah, and in the Northwest, there's several master plan communities. The main one is Sky Canyon. You have Sunstone Sky Hills. A lot of people like the Northwest quadrant of the valley because one, it's further away from the strip. Two, the streets are a lot wider mm -hmm. and you get surrounding mountain views all over the place. Yes, Mount Charleston is beautiful out there. And it tends to be a little cooler than the rest of the valley because of the higher elevation. So then we have the Northwest. We're gonna go to the Southwest, which is number four. And the Southwest part of the Las Vegas Valley is another excellent option for families. Communities like Rhodes Ranch and Southern Highlands are for well-maintained homes, golf courses, and a variety of amenities. You also have Mountain's Edge down there. Very popular. Spanish Trail. There's a lot of different communities in the Southwest part of the Valley. The Southwest is super popular because of its close proximity to the Strip. Yes. And it is growing like crazy. Now, the only thing for me in the Southwest is how a little crowded it is. The streets haven't been well done yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're working on it. Now we have the new Durango Casino that just opened in the Southwest. You have the Ikea down there. So lots of businesses down in the Southwest part of the Valley. Now let's go to the other side. We'll go to number five, which is Centennial Hills. Located in the Northwestern part of the city, Centennial Hills offers a mix of suburban living with easy access to shopping centers and recreational facilities. Yeah, Centennial Hills is a very popular area. 
It's right next to Painted Desert. You have that huge shopping center in Centennial right Plaza. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. There's car dealers there. There's tons of food. There's tons of shopping there. It's a great little location it, off of the 95 and Ann Road. It is, but since there's so much shopping there, there's that. It's it can be congested yeah. and hard to get through sometimes. Yeah, traffic can be a little crazy over Especially there. Especially during the holidays. Yes. And the last area a lot of people like to live in, and number six, is Spring Valley. Close to the Las Vegas Strip, Spring Valley offers a mix of residential neighborhoods, shopping districts, and schools. It's a convenient area for those who work on or near the Strip. And a lot of people like the Spring Valley area also because it's close to what? Chinatown. Oh yes, they have some great great places there too. Yes, mm -hmm. it's super close to Chinatown off of Spring Mountain. Um, and you know, Spring Valley is actually a big area. Now there's other areas of the valley, there's Paradise, Enterprise, um, etc. But we went over the top areas of Las Vegas, which is one, Summerlin, Henderson, Northwest, Southwest, Centennial Hills, and last Spring Valley. Yes. Okay. It's important to visit these areas, explore the neighborhoods, and consider your budget, lifestyle, and commute before deciding where to live in Las Vegas. Additionally, rental and housing markets can fluctuate, so it's a good idea to work with a local real estate agent for the, to find the right place for you. Yeah, and if you want to learn more about all the different neighborhoods in Las Vegas, you can always go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com where I've gone into great detail about all the different areas and for the most part, I have a video on all the areas and you can see all the homes for sale in those areas. It's a very helpful tool for people who are looking to buy in a neighborhood in Las Vegas. If you were thinking about moving and buying a home here in Las Vegas, you can always call me at 702-370-5112. And if you do live here in Vegas, let us know in the comments what you think of this video and what part of the valley do you live in? We live in the, I guess, technically northwest part of the valley at, or actually west because at one point in time where we live at the Desert Shores area, it was considered the northwest because there wasn't much above it. But now it's more west and we're right next to Summerlin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's grown quite a bit. It's grown quite a bit. And I am a lifelong resident and I've been here since the 70s. I've been here in the 80s. I've been here in the 90s, the 2000s. So I've been here for a long time. Anyway, guys, most importantly, make sure you hit that I like button and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning about all the things related to Las Vegas, especially neighborhoods in Las Vegas. Thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next one.